slide one. Uh, my name is Magda Sasafar from uh, Color Lab in NTNU, Norway. Uh, today I'm going to present to you uh, on the topic of HDR image color fidelity on the World Wide Web. Slide two. Goal of color reproduction in color imaging is uh, reproducing real world scene to human observers. However, devices on different stages uh, of this pipeline have limited color reproduction capability. Therefore, for good color fidelity, international color standards and color management solutions are uh, necessary. Slide 3. For color standards, uh, different international standardiz standardization organizations introduced various standards for different applications. These standards define the system colorimetry or color space and transfer functions to transform different input signals uh, to display devices. To give examples of common ITU standards, the common BT709, uh, which defines the high definition television, and the very recent BT2100, uh, which uh, defines high dynamic range uh, television contents. Slide 4. In addition to having standard specification, color management is important for device interoperability with increased color fid uh, fidelity. Current color management systems are based on device independent paradigms. Each device is color calibrated and only a transformation to a device independent color space is needed to be determined. Uh, two main examples of such uh, uh, device independent paradigm uh, color management systems are uh, the academic color encoding system for motion picture image ACES and the ICC color profile based color management systems. Slide 5. The color management system followed by uh, most web browsers is uh, ICC color profile based. Not all currently available browsers support color management. Color management uh, systems supporting browsers, uh, browsers uh, currently include the Internet Explorer, Microsoft Edge, Firefox and Chrome from Windows and Safari for, from um, uh, OS or uh, Apple. Color management system supporting uh, uh, browsers uh, considers embedded profile as a source and uh, embedded profile into the image as a source and display uh, profile as a destination profile and they apply transformation to and from the profile connection space, which is uh, mostly considered to be XYZ color space. The embedded and destination ICC profiles provide the color management module, the color space information, and other metadata and transformation matrix or, uh, or the lookup tables to uh, and from the profile connection spaces. And the color management module of the browser will take this uh, metadata information and apply the transformations. But most browsers assume sRGB as their standard color space which means that uh, every untagged image will be assumed as sRGB. Uh, some browsers like Firefox, they also expand the image colors to the display gamut, unless the user specified it manually in the, in the browser setting. Uh, but currently the supported gamuts are sRGB and R uh, Adobe RGB. Slide six, HDR formats uh, are not currently supported on browsers, there is currently a common double work uh, from uh, uh, World Three uh, World Wide Web Consortium as a CSS Color HDR Module Level One for cascading station, which recommends the application of HDR uh, supporting color spaces such as Rec Twenty One Hundred with both uh, perceptual quantizer and hybrid uh, log gamma encodings. Also, the uh, JZZBZ, uh, ICTCP kind of uh, perceptual, uh, perceptually uniform color spaces. Therefore, I have simulated the, upper, the results of the image shown on the slide uh, on MATLAB following the ICC color management process. It can be seen that whatever color space we use as a profile connection space, the results will be always darker. For better rendering, HDR contents on HDR display tone mapping is uh, required. A particular tone mapping can be included in the profile as a lookup table 
And I think uh, a related work is currently taking place in ICC uh, in an attempt to incorporate HDR contents in the new version of in the new versions of uh, ICC profiles. Slide seven. Then the question will be: What type of tone mapping is good for improving color color fidelity? Tone mapping has been a wide field of research over the years. Currently, many tone mapping operators are available. There are simple global tone mapping operators based on gamma curve uh, based correction or more perceptually uh, uh, designed sigmoidal curve based correction. Such tone mapping operators uh, clip color and detail information from the image. They introduce hue, uh, they introduce hue and saturation changes, uh, which, which are shown in the HSV color cloud visualizations of, on the slide. There are also local tone mapping operators which preserve more details by separating the reflectance and illumination information and then later compressing only the illumination information. Such solutions are mostly uh, computationally complex. Therefore, the choice of the base tone mapping operators that requires a compromise uh, to be done between the computational complexity and image quality or color uh, fidelity. Slide uh, 8. There are also more complex color appearance models designed with HDR tone mapping in mind. The same tone mapping challenge, uh, such as over and underexposed of contents, hue, and saturation changes of colors, are also observed in these models. Uh, the main sources of the hue and saturation changes uh, in my investigation are found to be the perceptual uh, non uniformity and the strong interdependence of luminance and the chrominance channels of these uh, perceptual color spaces. Even so, uh, the ITU uh, recommended uh, ITU recommendation PT, BT2390, a much simpler sigmoidal based uh, tone mapping operators, which will be competed depending on the black level and white level of the targeted uh, SDR displays. So in this case, the idea is to keep as much details as possible in the mid-tone and uh, clip as much in the shadows and highlights. However, such solutions assume that every HDR content have highlights and shadows, which doesn't contain as important details for the color appearance of the entire scene, which I find is not true all the time. Slide 10. So far, I was only considering color uh, managing HDR image for HDR displays, uh, but what if we have HDR displays on our desk? What will happen if the solution is, uh, if the situation is reversed? Should we just expand uh, everything to the display full capability, uh, which is linearly, just like uh, the Firefox is, uh, Firefox browser is doing uh, on uh, white ga color gamma displays uh, right now. Uh, should we keep the embedded color sp uh, specification in the image and uh, consider our expensive display as if it is just a CDR display? These are also important questions need to be answered by the browser's color management modules. Slide 11. I have investigated this issue in my PhD back in 2014 up to 2016 with a SIM2HDR display. The hue shift and color desaturation problems were highly visible on HDR displays. Also, compared to the original HDR scenes, we are actually expands, expanding the distorted HDR colors in case of reverse tone mapping operators. Therefore, in addition to luminous expansion, we found that uh, saturation and color clipping correction before the expansion uh, to be valuable for actually enhancing color fidelity. So if uh, you need more discussion on this topic, you can uh, find it on my PhD thesis. The link is given in the final slides of this presentation. Therefore, in general, for more accurate color production, web browsers uh, color management modules need to incorporate perceptual and adaptive tone mapping, as well as gamut mapping transformations. Uh, the, op the operations uh, need to consider gamut volumes instead of just the 2D gamut spaces. So, uh, in summary, I have provided this, um, these points on slide uh, 13. 
Uh, I have also provided uh, references on the final slide uh, of number 14. Thank you uh, for your attention.